Hey guys, we're in the skin and shed. Um, just done up a few beavers and uh, finished this wolf a little while ago. You see how black this is? That's everything below the snare. He had himself beat up pretty good, bruised all up there. And then, of course, with the warm weather, he'd turned a little bit green. But this is a like a big wolf. You see this stretcher here is just over eight feet tall. That roof is just a little bit higher than that. And he is two inches from the bottom. Look at the size of the feet, how they spread out on this thing. But just wanted to show you a couple things. Um, I said I was going to do a couple product demos and I think I'll do one right now on just show you something here. I just or got an order in from FHH, it's a small order. I got a dozen medium sized muskrat boards because those you know, extra large ones, those large ones that I got last year, you know, you, you get a smaller rat and they just don't go on there very well. You just You got a rat that's almost as wide as it is long when you get those little babies so I got a couple of a dozen of the medium ones but these things here are awesome these are fur hanging hooks I'd seen them before and you know, people told me about them and I always just thought well that's got to be the stupidest thing when you can just put a piece of wire in there but there's beavers there's beavers another whole bag of beavers rats rats but this is awesome I mean these Look at all these coyotes just hang there nice, they're not squished up or nothing. The fox hang there nice fishers. Um, one thing I'm going to talk about to the guys at FHA and see if they can even do it. Or I'm going to get whoever's manufacturing them to try and make some out of smaller gauge metal because you see, I mean, that this I cannot possibly put a Martin on those things or mink um, you know they're just the eyes are too small and even the otters the eyes don't open up that far so if, I, if they can get some smaller ones that'll be great and I will talk to them about that but uh, yeah no, these things are cool for the fox fisher could be for lynx coyotes good for wolves too so that's awesome and uh, looks like I will have you know I don't normally sell my fur on uh, or send fur on the first sale just because I don't often have a, most of it done but I mean over at FHA they so they've been getting calls for beaver. Um, you know, people are coming to the first sale, so and rats. They got interest in rats, so this will be the first time in probably 25 years I send my fur to the first sale because I got enough of it done up. You know, I tried keeping up as best I could. I think I've got the last receiving date the 18th. Right now I have I think 108 beavers on the board or in the bag or on the board and uh, you know I all my rats are done so there's 100 and, 140, 135, 140 rats so hopefully you know it will uh, it will pay plus not to mention I, I could use the check a couple months earlier then I would get it from the uh, holding it out to the second or sale so and all the Martin and Fisher will go on the next one and they're what they're looking for coyotes too so you know I'm going to send these coyotes on this sale because uh, if, there, uh, if there's a, a shortage of them then it will uh, hopefully the price will jump up good might bite me in the ass but we're going to see so anywho we got a, a, our first winter storm going on up here. 
freezing rain this morning, lots of it. Uh, school buses are already canceled. We're not, we're getting the tail end of the snow, so we're only got a couple inches of snow on top of the freezing rain, but uh, you know, they're getting pretty good get down south. So hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get out tomorrow and get some more wolf snares set. A few more Martin sets. I've been putting out anywhere from, you know, two to six Martin sets every time I go out, depending. Like, yeah, when I went out yesterday with those deer hunters, never got any Martin sets because we, we did a lot of exploring for them for where they're going to hunt next year. Um, found some awesome areas for them. I mean, they're going to have to walk to get in there because it's, uh, you know, anywhere up to three miles off the road that they're going to be walking to go hunt these areas. Anywho, I am done for the night. You got nothing else to stretch or skin. Took out an otter and a couple more beavers for tomorrow. Go get them thawing out in the house. And uh, so that December, if I get two beavers done every day from now to the last receiving date, I should have. 80% of the beavers. I should have 150 on this next sale, so that would be good. Then I'll have a, just another 20 to ship for the next one after that. Well, I'll, then I'll board now to let me catch some more beavers. Anyways, alrighty. You guys keep your boots dry.